In this example, we are going to use Newton's second law to find the acceleration of the block M1 and M2. So we have we apply the force F. The magnitude of this force is 40 newtons. With the surface is rough, and we have a coefficient of friction between uh, each block and the surface is 0.1. And the force we applied here, it is making 45 degrees with a horizontal surface. Uh, this is 45 degrees. So the first thing we need to do is to give free body diagram for each object and use second law to find the acceleration. So let's start with first object. Circle the object. We look what push and what pulls on it, on the object. We have the weight m1g. We have the tension t. Then we have friction friction force because if we are pulling the object to move in that direction, the friction force will be against the motion. And we have the normal force from the surface, the force from the floor on the object. We call it normal force one because it deals with the object one you see clearly the direction of these forces this is the direction of motion x positive now we shrink the object m1 we have m1 g we have normal force friction force tension Okay, so if we go to the second object, we have, we shrink the object. Uh, we have same thing, normal force Fn2. We have M2, M2g, the weight, M2g. We have this force F, F and make sure it comes out from the object. So you extend the direction of force and make sure it comes out. Uh, this one, this force is the same thing, we call it F. Then we have also friction force. And the tension. So let's go here. This is X. We have normal force Fn2, we have M2g, tension from the object 1, or just T. We have friction force also is in the same direction as tension, but friction force 2. This one we call it friction force 1 because it deals with object 1. This one we call it friction force 2 have normal force, the weight, and the force F. This force F, make sure you should, once you shrink the object, any force that goes to the object, make sure it goes out. So we can see clearly the direction. Now we say this angle is alpha. This alpha is making 45 degree with horizontal. If this is the force, this it was alpha. That means this angle also is alpha. Let's bring it here. This is the box. We shrink it. We said the force. If we shrink this, this, this surface will be on the top here. So, and this angle alpha. This is, will be alpha. Now, all we need to do is use Newton's law on each object. Remember, these two objects are connected to each other. They will have the same um, acceleration and the magnitude of tensions are identical. Okay, so let's use Newton's law on the first object. I repeat, for the object one, we have normal force from the floor. We have mg from the weight. We have the tension from the object M2 that pulls on the M1 through the rope. 
and then we have friction force due to the roughness of the surface. So this is all the forces that are applied on the object. Now, we, if we use Newton's law, the sum of forces equals the mass times acceleration. The mass of the object is m1. So what do we have? Now we have forces on x and other ones on y axis. That means the sigma f in terms of vectors it will have coordinate on x, it will be sigma fx and sigma fy. So sigma fx equals to the mass times acceleration and sigma fy equals uh, zero. Why? Because the object is moving on the surface, is moving on x direction, it doesn't fly, there is no motion in vertical direction, just the motion is on the ground. So for fx, this is our direction of motion is x positive. That means any force that contributes to the motion will be positive, will be in the same direction as x. The one that opposes the motion is in opposite direction, it's negative. In this case, on sigma fx is negative friction force plus the tension equals to the mass times acceleration. Now, for vertical axis sigma fy, we have normal force, 1. This, I call it friction force 1, because we are going to work with object 2. It will have its own friction. So, fn1, negative m1g, equals to, this is capital M1. Be m will be zero because we say there is no motion in vertical direction and this mass is capital m okay so you now we need to know also the friction force by definition is the coefficient of friction times normal force in this case is normal i call it fn1 now fn1 from the second equation is m1g then friction force 1 equals mu m1g so I go to the first equation and I replace the friction force with the mu m1g so what will be negative coefficient of friction times m1 m1g which is friction force plus tension equals to the mass 1 times acceleration now I keep this equation and I go solve for the object 2 for the object m2 we have a force F. This force F is making 45 degree with the X positive. We have normal force Fn2, friction force 2, tension from the object 1, the weight M2G. Now we do the same thing, but here for the object 2, we have this force that has two coordinate on X. We call it Fx and coordinate Fy. So F that will have two coordinates. Fx it will be F cosine of 45. And for Fy it will be F sine of 45 degrees. But remember it's going downward. This is the Y, uh, this is Y negative and upward is y positive so the sum of forces the sum of forces applied on the object 2 equals to the mass 2 times acceleration again this force will have coordinate is we have sigma f on x and sigma f on y axis this force on f uh, we have fx we say is f will be f cosine of 45 degrees 
minus friction force minus tension minus friction force okay because these two forces are against in the direction of motion the tension and friction force too this is friction force too now for vertical axis we have normal force fn2 this force fn2 we have m2g downward is negative and then also we have fy is downward is negative also it will be negative f sine of 45 degrees we said fy which is the coordinate of the force f on y axis will be negative f sine of 45 degrees remember the sigma of these forces it goes to the mass times acceleration let's put the here f cosine of 45 degrees minus tension minus friction force uh, of the object 2 equals to the mass 2 this is mass 2 times acceleration i just put back here this equation this one i put it here now the second equation normal force 2 the minus m2g minus f sine of 45 degrees equals to zero why because the object is moving on horizontal surface it doesn't fly there is no uh, vertical motion then there is no acceleration in vertical direction friction force 2 will be the coefficient of friction times normal force on the object 2 but now we need to know this normal force what it is what it is this normal force fn2 will be just m2g plus f sine of 45 degrees okay so we just put the equations we have now we have the equation from the object m1 the normal force fn2 equals this term then we can just replace the friction force to by the coefficient of friction times normal force so what we have friction uh, friction force uh, friction force 2 this term by definition is the coefficient of friction times the normal force so the normal force fn2 is this term uh, we'll replace uh, fn2 with this term so will be m 2g plus f sine of 45 degrees so remember the objective is to find the acceleration now we know the force we have the force is 40 newtons what we don't know is the acceleration and tension now if we put this equation and this ones together and i add them to each other and also we need to replace this friction force to here let's go to the next page so we will have some space okay so we put these two equations together we said the first equation from the object one using newton's law we have we found minus mu m1g plus tension from the object two equals to the mass of the object one times acceleration then for the object two we have the force applied cosine 45 degrees minus tension from the object one minus the friction force on the object two equals to the mass two times acceleration and we said the friction force on the object two is the coefficient of friction mu times normal force this normal force we found it from the equation on vertical axis uh, we said uh, normal force equals to mg m2g plus f sine of 45 degrees now if i add this equation one to this equation two if i add them to each other what we will have the tension vanishes now if i add these terms what what we will have we have f cosine of 45 degrees minus mu m1 g minus mu factor of m2 g plus f 
sine of 45 degrees equals to the mass 2 times acceleration plus m1 times acceleration m2 plus m1 times acceleration then also we can put f with f's and then mu g together if we want to so what we will have if i put f here f to be factor of cosine of 45 degrees and remember i have minus here and mu uh, let put this here i have f here i have cosine 45 degrees from here and here I have minus mu minus mu sine of 45 degrees close so i did this now also i can use mu g and the negative and then this i put plus in the front here and then also i can use negative mu g mu g times m1 because i have m1 here and i have m2 here plus m2 the acceleration will be just f times cosine of 45 degrees minus mu sine of 45 degrees minus mu m mu g mu g factor of m2 m2 plus m1 or m1 plus m2 okay this we close this here because f is times of this term this is the term minus mu g over everything over m1 plus m2 okay this is what will be the acceleration now we just replace the force f with 40 newtons the coefficient of friction with 0 0.1 and the masses m1 and m2 the acceleration will be 4.11 newtons per kilograms or 4.11 meter per second squared to find the tension we just uh, use one of the two equations from the object one we have this equation the tension it will be just m1 acceleration plus the coefficient of friction times the mass one times gravity so i can take m1 outside will be m1 times the acceleration plus mu g so m1 we said is three kilograms acceleration is 4.11 meter per second squared mu is 0.1 acceleration of gravity 9.8 meters per second squared so this will be maybe 15.27 newtons okay